Hey there, this is Angie M. Thought I would just do, I know my hair looks weird because of how it's bunched on the sweater. Thought I would just do a quick intro into today's look. I used my NAR Summer Lights palette, which I love. It very much reminds me of Charlotte Tilbury's Golden Goddess palette. It's a little, it's a little bit different, a little bit more coppery, but uh, it achieves pretty much a very similar easy effortless daily kind of look and I just the reason I wanted to do this with my with my hair down was so that you could actually see a little bit better what it looks like instead of just with the get ready with me put my glasses back on so it just it's a very I almost want to call it sophisticated office look and you can deepen it the way you want I find that when I use these types of shades for more of the daily wear just just a normal average day. I find I like my looks a lot better. If I see photos of me, I find that I really enjoy those photos. So I just, again, I thought I would do a little intro for you. I'm gonna re-record my planner play, which didn't go over so well yesterday. I, I got a little long-winded and 40 minutes later really hated what I had. So let's get that rolling too for tomorrow. Hey there, Angie. I'm just doing a little get ready with me. Oh man, yeah, we segued right into fall here. So I am just playing with some stuff I haven't played with in a hot minute. Well, not not this guy, but you know, other stuff. Spent a lot of time last night trying to clean out my, my bathtub. I had to order a new shower curtain. But our master bath is, it's poorly designed. Our master bedroom is way too big. They could have made the bathroom bigger. They could have done the layout differently. It's frustrating. It's a thing. But we have a long, you know, whirlpool jetted tub. But it's kind of narrow because it's not, if they had done the space differently, they could have put in a, a bigger whirlpool tub or a different shape that would have made more sense. Whatevs, 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 whatevs. Let me get that a second. My, my, my browser. They need to be plucked, but I'm trying not to pluck them quite as much. I mean, like this guy down here could go, but I feel like I'm starting to get thinner and I, part of the problem is that they're starting to gray. So today I'm going to use my NARS Summer Lights. I do believe you might still be able to get this on Sephora and NARS. I know the last time I checked it was still up for availability. Absolutely love it be using this guy and this guy today maybe a little bit of this guy I'm not sure but uh, I love this and I actually find that the colors in it are very similar to uh, Charlotte Tilbury's Golden Goddess so yeah both are both are limited edition palettes I totally grabbed the wrong brush what happens when you grab a brush without your glasses on so I'm just gonna dust off the brush I intended to grab Oh, I'm looking at the I'm looking at the crack on my my phone. So I'm gonna start with that lighter shade that I showed you, and she's just gonna go everywhere. I've been loving looks that I get and just, just how I look when I use the Charlotte Tilbury palette. So I wanted to use this and see if I feel the same way. Now, tonally, it's a little bit different. This guy looks silvery, but is, is more brown. I just want it all over. I'm not being particularly careful. We're not doing anything fancy with it. I'm not going anywhere today. Just want it on the eyeballs. There we go. All right, then I'm gonna take my Sonia Kashuk blending crease brush and I'm just going to, aha. Uh -huh. Dip it into this shade here. My entire bathroom needs to be cleaned. Just 
I just get tired. Is anyone else tired? I'm tired. I'm tired. I'm tired of cleaning the same things. I'm tired of cleaning the same dishes. I'm just tired. Yeah, so totally this is definitely different. I like it, but it gives a very different look. So, looks similar. <sighs> or like it could be similar in the pan, but it's not similar on the eye. Okay. Put that out of the corner. I'm just trying to blend, 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 blend. Blend, 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 blend. Okay, and then I'm gonna take my It, it Cosmetics Smoky Liner. I'm just gonna dip it in there. I'm just gonna give a little bit of a line to my under eye lashes. Try to get that in there. And do just a little bit more. All right, I cleaned that same brush off and I'm just gonna go into the highlighter that's in here. Just gonna. I found that I've really liked an inner corner highlight lately. I just feel like it opens the face up a little bit more. Put it underneath. Put it in my crease. Okay. rarely do this brow highlight I'm gonna get it on there and then I'm gonna blend it out this is what I'm gonna do so hold on I don't I don't usually like this life and I'm putting on more it looks like I'm putting on more again because I'm gonna blend it out get that darker color off of there I just Soften it out. Okay. All right. Again, not a huge fan of that, so that's all right. All right. All right. All right. All right. I have my 24 hour benefit brow setter. I really liked how my brows looked yesterday. I spent a little bit longer on them with this. And I really liked how they turned out. How they looked. So, see if I can practice that out a little bit. The trick is to actually get them in the shape you want them with the brush because this stuff holds. So well, they're not gonna move. So once it sets, once it sets, if you've got a crazy brow or you've got something weird going on, it's, it's set until you remove it with makeup remover. And I just have the mini and it's, it's lasted me a good long time. So I'm gonna grab my lash curler before we move on to the below. Well, before I move on to the blush, I should probably prime. So which primer am I gonna use? Use my YSL. Try it 
try and use up the two bigger primers that I have. I like the YSL. It's serviceable. It doesn't... I mean, I guess it is hydrating because it doesn't dry my skin out at all, but it's... Mm, it's not necessarily what I would call glowy. Like, my Becca Backlight Priming Filter is way... Like, if you want glow, that's what you want to use. Why does that one eye look so awfully blended in this camera? The side looks weird. I think it's because the light... It, there's so much light over on this side. Ooh, I'm sweating. I'm just going to open my window some more. And some of that cool air. It's getting muggy in here. Okay. <laughs> Kiddo is downstairs playing with daddy. All right. Mascara. Mishy scara. in there. Okay, I'm probably not going to be able to hold that by this. So, I am using the Caution Extreme Lash. I love this stuff. I had a little, little cry yesterday and she just did a beautiful job of not moving. Like, I was really impressed with how this stuff was just on there. I'm taking a smaller mirror. It's easier to hold. And it's fucking up. Great. I just love how this doesn't give me spidery lashes. It lifts, it separates, it it makes them look nice. Makes them look longer, makes them look fuller. And I've said it before, I like my lashes to start with, so. I just feel like, I feel like this mascara delivers on the promise that so many make and then don't deliver on. I'm just gonna slide this stuff out of my way for a moment. Move that stuff over, Put that back, and then for blush, I'm gonna use something that you can't get, but there are there are kind of dupes for. I'm gonna use the I'm gonna use my fairy flush from Tarte. So Becca's Flower Child and then Hourglass has a pink shade that are very, very similar. You can achieve a very similar look. It's just this is matte and those are not. And I have gone in, like the pattern's disappearing. I really, really love this one. And when I was thinking about what blush I was going to use today, it's like, I don't know. I don't know what blush I want to put on my face. But I do like to blend it up just a little bit, just so it looks a little bit more like a natural color. Unless like I'm just kinda I really haven't dipped in this one in a long time, so I wanted to just kind of give it some love. Give it a little smile. And then look at that bronzer in there. It's an Estee Lauder bronzer. I actually don't mind it. Under, kind of underneath where I applied the blush. I'm just gonna give almost as, as like a contour, but 
More, I just want to warm up that part of my face a little bit. Okay. All right. And then for lip gloss, I just grabbed my NARS Pulsion. It's just a maybe pinky shade. Not really going for it today. I'm just going to be at home. But that's it. So thanks for getting ready with me and I will catch you.